All right, Gil. All right, new at noon, insect infestation. Dozens of New Haven trees have come down over the past few months, but some replanting is going on right now. News 8's Ken Pierce live in News 8 Control this midday with the problem and the solution. Good afternoon, Ken. Good afternoon to you, Keith. And the problem is a little green bug called the emerald ash borer. It loves to eat and kill ash trees. It devastated a whole block right near the News 8 studios. But today the solution is here. They are planting new and different trees on that block. After months as a barren landscape, there is something growing once again on Artisan Street. We are planting cherry trees and tree lilac trees along this street. So both are gorgeous summer flowering trees that are going to add a nice, nice color. The color green all but disappeared from this street. Last July, notices went up telling residents almost every tree had to come down. They were all ash trees and they had been infected by an invasive Asian insect called the emerald ash borer. The little baby bug, the larva, they get inside the bark and eat that live portion of the bark that connects the roots of the tree to the leaves of the tree. So it effectively strangles the tree. That's why in August the chainsaws came, removing every ash tree on the block. It's a common problem in northeast cities because there are so many ash trees. But when the ash borer comes to town, it doubles the number of trees it infects every year. Chances are if you're starting to notice problems with the tree, um, the crown's dying back, for instance, maybe only half the tree has leaves then chances are it's a problem involving the emerald ash borer. If you catch it early enough, there are chemical treatments, but here they had to replace them. Fortunately, the city of New Haven works with the Urban Resources Initiative and Emerge, a group that hires folks who have been recently incarcerated. Once you roll the tree in, fill the topsoil, compost. Together they are bringing life back to Artisan Street. And if you think you have trees infected with the emerald ash borer, you can contact a licensed arborist. That's a good first step. Also, let the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station know as well. Plus, we have resources for you on our website, WTNH.com. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, over to you.